it, it's a question of what's happening the rest of the year. Is it going to slow down? Is it going to go as strong? And my view would be um, that we're going to see 14% here. So my, my answer would have been number four in a, in a minority, <coughs> relative minority. sector housing market is probably interest rates will be lower for longer than we first expected. So to set the scene, or rather for you guys to set the scene, I want to ask a question about where we stand right now in terms of the market. Um, the question is which of the following issues most concerns you regarding the outcome <coughs> of the housing market? Um, inflation prospects, we can vote now, inflation prospects, uh, tax changes, employment prospects, public and private debt levels or GDP uh, prospects. So we've got a few seconds left to vote if you haven't already done so. Okay, so the results are well pretty clear actually. Employment prospects are a clear winner in terms of your concern for the, the future prospects of the market. And I'd agree that there are lots of reasons to be bearish about property, and particularly the housing market, at the current time. We ought not to overdo them, but they are, they are there. I think that, in my own view, economic recovery is far from certain, and the, uh, the recovery we get will be weak from this point forward. We already have the stimulus from low interest rates, and while we might retain some of those effects in the short season in terms of buying property, is their ability to access the mortgage market on terms that they see as, as favourable to themselves. So again, over to you guys on this one. The question that I'll ask is, over the next year, do you expect to see the volume of bank lending to the residential property <coughs> sector to rise, remain unchanged, or fall? And I'm actually talking about the mortgage sector, so mortgage lending over the next year. So you can vote now. Do you believe it will rise significantly, number one, rise marginally, remain unchanged, fall marginally, or fall significantly over the next year? Fairly positive. Um, notice if you're the large group is saying ri rising uh, marginally. Um, next again, unchanged with nearly a 50 percent falling marginally. Well, I wouldn't want to dispute your responses, but let's just check. Go back to the slide. Your sentiment against the uh, banking. So let's take a look at the forecast for both of those factors. Before we do, let's get you to do some more work. Next question for you. <coughs> What do you expect the UK base rate to be in July 2011? Unchanged at half a percent, or rising <coughs> through the uh, figures there uh, up to three percent and above? Vote now, please. seems to be the, the average in the room. Back to the slides. Um, our forecast for the short term may be even into the, into the medium term. So now let's turn to the UK. Before I give you my forecast, final question for you. The question is, over the next 12 months, so to next July, next 12 month period, do you believe house prices in the UK will rise by 5%, rise marginally, no change, Fall a little bit before more significantly. Don't know. 